If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you will know that I speak entrepreneurship and entrepreneur's mindset and sometimes I do give business ideas and this is one of those videos where I give business ideas. So it's businesses that you can start from only 200 rand all the way to 20,000 rands. So these businesses will progressively be getting more expensive as I go in the list and this is part one of these videos that I'm going to talk about 15 business ideas. So do stick until the end and you might find something that you will like and if you don't, just wait for the next one, all right? It's Tepo Mavimbela here and let's get right into it. The first business that you can start with 200 Rand is selling cigarettes and sweets in the street. Now, a lot of people use public transport here in South Africa, so you've definitely seen somebody selling cigarettes, snacks or even sweets at a robot traffic light, robot, we call it robot here in South Africa. You've also seen them at taxi ranks and these people are making money selling cigarettes and sweets or be it because the investment into the business is so low, it means that the profit is also very low, meaning that they have to do that the entire day. So if you start at 6 a.m., you have to be done at 8 p.m. until the last vehicle or the last person in the taxi rank leaves. The second business is selling accessories. Now, when I say accessories, I'm not talking about jewelry. I'm talking about things such as razor blades, combs, needles. You've seen somebody who runs a business like this. Most of the time, if you see them in a taxi rank or in the hood, and they'll be walking around holding this board thing. I don't know what to call that board thing or what they call it, but it will have all sorts of accessories there. It's pele, the pin. They'll have these things and they'll be selling them. These people will start their business with three to four hundred rand. You don't need more than that to start. And then obviously you can spend more so that you can have more things that you can sell when you go around. Business number three, if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at a book. I made the notes so that I don't remember, I don't forget anything. Ooh, okay, okay, let's just move it. Business number three is selling soft drinks and water. Again, you still need a place like a taxi rank or taxi robot where it is really, really busy and you can meet as many clients or interact with as many clients and customers as possible. So soft drinks can be your cold drink, more fire, <laughs> score, uh, Coca-Cola if you want to sell, water, whatever sells the most is what you're going to be selling. Unfortunately, here in South Africa, most of the people who do these kind of businesses are uh, foreign nationals. I say unfortunately because South Africans kind of sleeping on these kind of businesses because they think that since it is such hard labor, it, it is laborious standing in a intersection on a robot and then you have to move to the next when it turns green this side you go to the green to the red side when it turns red with the where you were selling you have to go to the green side it is very laborious but you do make some money there and if you have nothing coming in a way of income and you are dependent on the government then this kind of business is a good idea to go for business number four is selling cheap jewelry we all like looking good Believe it or not, this very, very cool ring that I'm wearing here, this one here, this one here. I bought this ring for, I think, 50 rand. It could have been less, I just don't remember. But I know that I spent so little, I was quite surprised that such a cool ring costs so little. So when people are looking at my videos and they see this ring, one of my rings, this is a super, super cheap ring. This, my young cousin gave me it, so it's priceless. So this here, it was 50 bucks. You can sell cheap jewelry, necklaces, earrings, um, bracelets, and people will buy these things because they want to look good. And if it looks good and it doesn't look too cheap, come on, it's a no-brainer. We go into business number five. Now we are going into services. This is cleaning. And by cleaning, I mean that you will be cleaning people's yards or their houses. Yards, it will be landscaping, gardening, with a shovel and a leaf rake, it's all you need. So if you have to buy these things, they're probably going to cost you 300 rand. I don't know how much they actually cost. I always, I always borrow these things. So I'm guessing 300 rand because I've seen a mob for 70 rand at shop, right? So, hey. Now, with cleaning uh, people's yards and houses, it is sustainable because if you are in an area where people are mostly not in their homes, they will likely hire you to come clean their houses or clean their yards and you can do this weekly, on a weekly basis. Once a week you go for maintenance and you keep making your money. Or be it the money will not be big in the early stages, but you will be making some good money. Business number six is a business that I'm actually going to go into with my younger brother. This is a sneaker wash business. 
We surmise that it's gonna cost us 2,000 rands to start this business, but then it can also cost you only 300 rand and even less to start. The reason it's gonna cost us 2,000 rand to start is because we're also gonna buy a electrical shoe dryer so that we can dry more shoes as quick as possible so that we can get more customers we just want to push high volumes but with 300 rand you can start this business and the business will also be successful business number seven is fast foods now with fast foods obviously you need let's say two to five thousand rands you can start with less but two to five thousand rands to be safe and in this case i'm specifically speaking about the quarter as many quarter shops there may be out there it doesn't matter if you have clean quarters that are delicious and people enjoy it, you're definitely going to get your customers you've seen this in areas where there's like five to six quarter shops in a very small area but all these shops have their own customers and some people don't go to any of those six shops because they go to the next neighborhood because they prefer that one so those people who go to the next neighborhood they prefer that other one because it's cleaner it's more delicious you can be that person who brings in a cleaner more delicious quarter in your hood Business number eight is a laundry business. Now, a laundry business can be a bit expensive because you need a washing machine and you need a dryer, but you can get them on the second hand market. And with just seven to 10,000 rands, you can get these things. Oh, we are in South Africa and you need electricity. Your business might suffer a little bit, but when you do have customers at that moment that you have customers, you will be making some money. But you have to be aware of the fact that we are in South Africa and right now we've got low shedding and electricity problem. And until that problem is fully fixed by the government, you have to work with what is available for you. If you want to go for solar and power your own laundry business when there is no electricity, then it's going to cost you more than 20,000 rands. So if you want it to cost less than 10,000 rand or less than 20,000 rands, you will depend on the electricity grid that is provided for by the government. Business number nine is secondhand clothing. Secondhand clothing I actually want to try out as well because the business that I am running right now is bringing in enough money for me to live and just survive. But then there's things that I actually want to invest on long term when we are talking 10, 30, 50 years. This is a business that I think will bring in cash to fund the business that I want to focus on for the next 50 years or until I am dead and my children take over that business. So second hand clothing is a good business because if you are in a township or in the city, there is a lot of people that cannot afford to buy brand new clothes. And some of the people who can afford to buy brand new clothes because they do have the money still do prefer to buy second hand clothing. This is why thrifting is such a big thing nowadays and it doesn't matter where you are in the country or in the world. People are thrifting. People are thrifting. I do have some thrifted items myself. Business number 10. Home cleaning products. It's selling home cleaning products. Now the business that I was talking about that I want to invest the next 10, 30, 40, 50 years, as long as I live, is actually in the home cleaning products. It's in the home cleaning uh, industry. And I want to sell FMCG products myself. And of course, the plan is to brand them, but to start this business is going to need 15 to 20,000 rands if you want it to be a very profitable and super sustainable business. So 15 to 20,000 rands, you can start this business. You do need a shop or you do need a place where you can sell from. Or if you've got a car, lucky you, you can sell from your car. Business number 11 and business number 12. Business number 11 is a tattoo business. A tattoo business, you can start with 20,000 rands. You can actually start it with much less than that, but 20,000 rands if you've got a shop is a guaranteed success. If you know how to sell, if you know how to market and provide it, you know how to do tattoos. And if you went through a shop and you did your apprenticeship and whatever, 20,000 rands is good for you to start your business. Permanent makeup, which is number 12, is also something that I do in my business because it's so similar to tattooing. You need 20,000 rands to start a permanent makeup business. 10,000 rands is for training. 10,000 rand is for equipment and marketing. I'm going to move on because I don't think I should be saying more than that. But if you need to know more than that, we can have a chat. I will leave a link of my WhatsApp in the description of this video and then we can chat at any time. Business number 13 is grooming. Grooming? What do I mean? I mean cutting people's hair, shaping their beards, 
Um, I think ladies, when they go do their hair, which can also be called grooming. So grooming and making people look good, feel more confident. This is a service-based business. I think with grooming, if you are working from home at first before you get a shop or you are staying in an area that's busy, you can work from your home's garage or your back room that you built. You can start this business and be profitable for a very long time, even during recession when time and times where people don't have money at all. You can start this business with 5,000 rands or less. And you want to be, if you want to be more fancy, of course, you can go all the way to 20,000 rands. But with 5,000 rands and even way, 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 way less, you can start a grooming business. Again, we go into the services businesses as number 14 in consulting. Now, by consulting, it can be anything. It can be strategy for businesses. It can be marketing for businesses. And these consulting services are people that are things that people are willing to pay for. Businesses are willing to pay for consulting services. So if you are starting a business in consulting, Amen. You have to do a lot of marketing. You have to brand yourself. You have to be good at selling. By the way, everything that I've mentioned in this video, you have to be good at selling. Selling is the number one skill and the second skill that you need with all of the business ideas that I've mentioned in this video is patience. Patience is actually a skill. I truly, truly believe so. And speaking of consulting, if you want to have a chat with me about your business, the idea that you have and you want to brainstorm how to do this i've done and and involved myself in so many businesses some have made money some i didn't but the experience that i've gained over the past 10 years almost is very much valuable and we can chat about that so the whatsapp link will be in the description business number five is another service business for businesses and no it's not marketing hey <laughs> chill it's not marketing it's accounting services or bookkeeping services trust me most entrepreneurs who are making 10 to 100,000 rands a month do need some accounting skills. And a lot of us don't have these skills. So if you are someone who has their accounting skills, bookkeeping skills, you can either come in as a consultant or as a person that you service monthly. Now, granted, there is some AI and some technology that you can do with this, but then we also need to understand what's happening, what the technology is doing for us. So a bookkeeper, an accountant, somebody who understands what's happening is still valuable. And this is the kind of business that you, you can still start and you don't need that much money to start. Obviously, we're not talking about the education that you had to get, but the marketing and branding yourself and selling yourself to people, you really can just use YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook and you start getting your customers. And that is it with this video. It's only 15 business ideas that you can start from 200 rand all the way to 20,000 rand. I will make another video and I will mention probably 15 or more business ideas. So if you don't get something that you liked in this one, click the subscribe button, like this video. It helps the channel grow. I'd like to make some YouTube money. Oh my goodness. But then see you in the next one. Peace.